Quick format versus full format. Which one should you choose? In this video, we'll visually demonstrate both quick format and full format, compare them, and help you decide which one is right for your needs. First, let's try quick format. Start by right clicking on your preferred drive and selecting the format option. In the format window, choose FAT32 default from the file system drop down menu. Make sure the quick format option is checked under format options. After that, click on start, and then confirm by clicking OK to begin the formatting process. That's it, the drive is formatted quickly and easily. However, quick format does not scan for bad sectors or securely erase data, it only clears the file table, so old data can still be recovered using data recovery tools. Now let's try a full format. Just like before, right click on the drive and select the format option. Set the file system to FAT32. This time, make sure to uncheck the quick format option. This will enable a full format. Once everything is set, click on start and then confirm by clicking OK to begin the full formatting process. This process is much slower compared to quick format and can take a significant amount of time. However, full format not only checks for bad sectors and attempts to repair them, but it also writes zeros to the drive, providing a deeper and more thorough cleaning. Also, does quick format and full format really erase all data? No, quick format and full format only marks the space as empty. But your old files can still be recovered using tools like data recovery. To completely erase your data, you can use SysTools data wipe software. It is fast and securely deletes data permanently, making it impossible to recover even with advanced recovery tools. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of the software. Now select the pen drive option. You can also choose drive or files and folders for different drives and files. Let's select the pen drive. You can choose a different option if needed. Click on it. Enable the drive option. And then click next. Here, you need to choose a wiping method based on your needs. Lower pass methods are faster but less effective, while higher pass methods take longer but deliver better results. Let's go with a simple method, zero with one pass. However, users can choose a different method based on their needs. Now, click the wipe button. A warning message will appear. Simply click yes to continue. Once the process is complete, you'll see a message confirming that the wipe was successful.